All right, I'll just react to the Fnatic roster because... So... I think it's very important to... Talk about something very specific, right? It's like... You know, from, from, from Fnatic's perspective... They need to rebuild everything. In my mind, they have to they have to rebuild everything. And the options you have between winter and spring are very limited. Insanely, insanely limited. I think that I honestly believe that Advian is going to do better than Rox. I think that Advian is gonna do better than Rox. I think Advian could be, you know. A strong character that is going to make Ivan play more precise and less emotionally, I would say. I I have high hopes for Advian. I think that's that's strong. I think Oscarinin, you know, I think he's the type of player that might have like potential in the future to come to the LEC, but I, I, I have a feeling that this is way too quick and way too soon. And in the pool of top laners. I think that this player is going to drown. And the main issue for Oskarinin is that he, I hope the circumstance for him is that uh, he is going to have the freedom to make mistakes and the freedom to grow. The issue is, of course, is w what is Fnatic actually planning? Is this a split just to make a roster and to play? Or do they have the intention of building Oscarini in the LEC or building Advian into a stronger player? Or are these players or are these players going to be potentially on the chopping block coming into summer? That is what is tricky. Right? So I, I hope the circumstances are like Appropriate. The mistake was to sell upset? No. The mistake is deeper than that. Because it's like the mistake is deeper, right? I've mentioned it before as well. It's like the fact that upset doesn't want to play and Wunder doesn't want to play. Uh that's there's a mistake that is deeper than that. So I just hope that uh regardless of what kind of opinion you have of management the players related to the situation and especially the newcomers they're inheriting a lot of issues from the teams of the past and they're going to have to carry that on their shoulders and at the same time grow and um, and play so i hope that uh, people give a lot of breathing room to oscarinin and advian because in the end in the end right there's two ways it goes Either they play really good and all, all is good, or they don't. In the case, in the case where they don't, they, they deserve time. They deserve time. What's my opinion on Nightshare? Uh, I, I don't have an opinion. I've met him once or twice. I think I confused him for freeze. They look identical. I think it's cool that Nightshare has... Uh, like, I hope, I hope that Nightshare... You know, can leverage his personal uh, relationship with um, uh, with Marek to maybe get more out of him. I think that's interesting. Um, going forward, we will take whatever steps necessary, which means learning from our past mistakes to bring Fnatic back to the performance stands we hold ourselves to to win in the LC and content ending for the World Championship. And content ending. What does that mean? We can't promise this will be an easy journey, but we're confident it will happen. Come. Okay. Oh, contending. Contending. Okay, content ending. Well, I... Like, this sounds nice and all, but... Um, this is going to take a lot of time. Uh, this is going to take a lot of time. And, yeah, I hope they don't put too much pressure on themselves. These two, these two homies, Razor can, uh, Ivanchuk and Marek Brazdalini, you guys, you guys can carry, man. You guys can carry. You just need to fucking get your heads out of your ass. You guys can carry.
all in all, I think that um, I think it's interesting. <laughs> the, the the main thing is this: like, I, I hope to take the time to really, really align what they want to achieve as a group and how they want practice to be, so they actually have constructive practice where players can grow. That is the most important thing. Okay, I think there's nothing else to say. Just they deserve time and patience. <laughs>